Okay, Luna, you ready to go to Saxay Away, Mom? I am. I'm recording. <laughs> e, e. Look, I'm going to show you mine. Okay. okay. Pajama from Cusco, it's a typical souvenir from here. About two brass. Plus, this is. That's. Tuk, no, no. This. Tuk, no. I forget uh, the name. So did I. I was I saying it earlier too. I forget the name. Wow. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Tumi. This is Tumi. Tumi. Tumi is like a kind of tool. Ah. This, they use like this to kill the people, you know? Oh, really? In the sacrifices. Oh, that's a sacrifice. So, okay, everybody knows Quixote. No, they don't. Yes. Let's Who see. Who cares Quixote? Oh, but the point oh, is... Oh, Don Quixote? No, yeah, Don Quixote, but the point oh. is they make by hand. Okay. You know? I mean, here, we saw how they... Do. Yeah. So, and this is a typical... Mm-hmm. Versus. Versus. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know how Ken bought. Oh, I bought a blanket and oh, some other and stuff. Oh, and the pictures. And the pictures, yeah. remember? Yeah. So this is our little room. Okay. This is the city of Cusco. From the cab. Okay, there's some good examples in, of some, uh, what I think is uh, Urin Pacha, the second level builders, but the fine stonework you can see in here as compared to the Inca walls over there. So completely different and you can see this rock in here, this rough stone, looks like it was melted or something, I mean it's just interesting and then the perfect precision of those larger megalithic stones and the cutout that I'm focusing on right now how did that happen the Incas only had copper chisels and there's some Inca walls in the background to compare and contrast with completely different it's kind of cave system for what we know yeah. we don't know right and then, oh, look behind us. Oh, I, I wonder if that cave comes through here. I think so. This is, I hope not. I hope nobody's peeing in here. Flat, flat for a reason. Yeah. yeah. All right. And I want to say this is Marapacha, the original builders, because it's cut out of the bedrock. So that's their stuff. But you can see the trademark stairs and this knob here and this little pool. We were saying maybe to kill animals and that's the blood, but we don't really know for sure. But I think it's Marapacha. Thank you, Matilda. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at Cusco in the background. It's kind of neat. Spelled Saxe Huaman with an H, mm -hmm. H U A Huaman, but I've also seen it spelled Saxe Wayman with W A M A N. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? This whole thing is a Puma? Huh? Well, there's a wall in Tusk. Um, what do you have in your, in your picture, Puma? It's new. Oh, the condo. Oh, in the calendar. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? Maybe that can be a snake. Look. Yeah. Look, it looks oh, like a picture, yeah. you know? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks it like is. a snake. Sometimes. It does. Mm -hmm. And why would they build it so you could see it from above? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And how they can look, you know? How do they know what it looks yeah, like? How they look Aliens. <laughs> yes. Two aliens. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah, look at that cutout, that perfect. Yeah, how would Right. So perfect, all of it. Yeah, that's. What about this Alien what? Welcome. Yeah, this place, Ancient Aliens, has been here a few times, you know. Yeah. Coco is. Uh huh. Go for you. Energy for these high altitudes, I do feel a lot better. And we're at over 11,000 feet. No problemo. Okay, wow. So I'm in the Grand Plaza for Saxe Weyman. And there's a lovely Luna performing the Luna dance. Which is a ritual. <laughs> yeah. But the energy here feels amazing. It really does. There's something about it. It's right when you walk down those steps into this space, it was really like a breath of fresh air or something. So. <laughs> Bring it in. I'm gonna go over to those big stones soon enough. Oh, yeah. And they say from the sky that this whole plaza looks like the snake, the puma, and the condor somehow. So, from the sky. How did they do that? Okay, so here's some really excellent, obvious examples of massive 20 ton stones placed together seamlessly, perfectly. You can't even fit anything between it without any uh, mortar in between. Versus, if you look above, you have the Inca stone wall. And that's Inca technology. These giant stones, not. Some may say aliens. I know that's what you were thinking. Me, I'm a more of a pragmatist, so I think it was aliens. Pretty cool. La, 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 
la la la. Come here. Come here. There's his face. <laughs> on top of the world, checking out Cusco, pretty big city. Okay, so these you can see are probably the biggest stones here in uh, Sacsayhuaman, and you can see how massive they are compared to the people. These are like, I think, I don't know, 20 tons or something, but how do you move these into place, which clearly they were because this wall is formed in a type of a zigzag line, how was that stone moved into place thousands of years ago? So we got a storm rolling in here, it's like an echo chamber, you can hear that thunder, and someone's up there playing, playing the pan flute. It's hard to hear though. Lightning and the thunder. Ooh, that was good lightning. That was pretty much right overhead. <laughs> That's time to go.